Hey guys, my name is Dan Isaac. I am a commercial slash portrait photographer based in New York City. And today I'll tell you all about how I approach location portraits and some of the gear I use to do so. The most important thing when it comes to location portraits for me is utilizing the space. I studied architecture so I'm big with space. When I go to a space, I like to walk around for a little bit, you know, feel it out, see little details in the space, whether it be the colors, the textures, the composition, the light. And I try to utilize all those different things based on my subject. I do think I'm really good at adapting on the go, you know, so while I'm shooting, I'll find elements and I have things I would look for, you know, whether it be the textures or the color. I'll go for that first, or and then the direction of the light also plays a really big part into how I pose or have someone stand in a space. In general, when I'm taking photos, I want to tell a story. Sometimes I make a story up in my head for my subject, or if I do have the time, I listen to them. And it depends what it is. If it's a personal, intimate portrait, I really want to get their story and translate that. In fashion, or even street photography, you, you kind of let those stories just create themselves, or you would just create a fantasy story and you, you sell that based on like your space, your location, your wardrobe, your lighting. I do like to have open communication with my models, so I do show them the photos and sometimes I even pose the way I think they should pose. So I, I like to get hands on, I like to let, let them feel comfortable as well so they understand. I think a lot of times the subject that's getting their photo taken, they don't always get the vision. So they might be in a position or in a frame and they feel awkward. And I might be able to sense that. So I try to break that awkwardness by showing them, hey, this is what it looks like. And they'd be like, oh my God, it wasn't like that in my head. It didn't feel that way. And thank you for showing me so I can actually really get into the pose now or get into the action of it. My go-to rig actually is the A7R3 with the 3514 Zeiss. It's my favorite setup. I'm so accustomed to the weight, the feel of it, how the photos render are amazing. I also use different setups like the A7 IV, I have it here, um, if I'm not trying to shoot like large files. On this setup, I actually have the 135, 1A G Master. I also shoot with the 16 to 35. That's one of my favorite lenses, the G Master. I like the shapes that the 35 create. And if you get close enough, you can create some really dynamic portraits. But even as we're discussing today, location portraits, you know, I'm really big on space and how do I capture someone in a space where it's not obscured in a way that's not natural? And I think 35 is my happy medium in terms of me being able to be in any situation. And 35 gives me you know, a happy place where it's wide enough where I can shoot anywhere. It's not too wide where it's obscure, you know, or, or it gets funky or weird. I love it. And this lens renders as a beauty, so. All right, guys, thank you for watching this episode. My name is Dane Isaac. You can check out my work on Instagram, and you can check out a lot more on alphauniverse.com or the Alpha Universe YouTube channel.